Boy, congratulations. Can you tell us about this city? You, again, you're there, you are really in your top shape right now, no? Yeah, I think uh, I showed already the last uh, days that I'm uh, in good shape. And also today uh, I felt good. Um, yesterday's stage was uh, was needed to have a bit of recovery after a really hard weekend. And today I felt uh, felt better again. So uh, yeah, it's uh, really cool to win a TT. How did you manage to beat Philippe Pogana to, to beat uh, Stefan Kuhn on this course, which was really for specialists? How did you do it? I think I'm also a specialist. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> indeed, but how did you manage your effort? It was about pacing yourself today with the wind or so? Uh, yeah, the second half was uh, headwind, so uh, I tried to keep something left for the second part. But uh, it's also only 10 kilometers, so it's uh, too short to, uh, to really take a slow start, let's say. Uh, so yeah, basically it uh, was an all-out effort for, uh, for 11 minutes. And uh, yeah, after, uh, especially for me, with uh, going for the GC, it was just uh, give everything what I had left. With uh, the strength you have shown this week, is the risk now is not that everybody will be looking at you and only you almost at Milano San Remo, especially you will have number one in the back. Uh, yeah, I think uh, everybody saw we, who had uh, strong legs this week and uh, this week. I can also name uh, one other rider who, uh, who everybody will look at. So uh, yeah, for me it's not does not change much. I think uh, in every race they will look for me. And uh, yeah, San Remo is a really long and tough race. So in the end, is uh, the legs which uh, which will decide. Thank you. We switch to finish. We have change the bonnet. We change the mic over.